Let's go! Welcome to days four to six of our trip. By this point in our journey, we're feeling pretty comfortable with the Japan train system. We are definitely more comfortable with the JR line, but we're getting used to learning how to use the local train lines as well. In this section of our trip, we are leaving Tokyo and heading over to Nikko. As soon as we got off the train and landed in Nikko, we could tell that the air felt so different. We were completely surrounded by mountains and it felt like a little country town. I guess for anyone from Sydney, it'd be like an equivalent to Katoomba. It felt kind of trendy, kind of vintage, but also quite clean, which was lovely. It's so funny, looking back now in hindsight, Nico feels like a lifetime ago. It feels like months ago, but it was only like a week ago. And Nico was days four to six of our trip. and. It's crazy to think that we had squeezed in that much just in the first week. We feel like we'd lived a month. Jamie and I both loved Nico, but if you're following me on socials, you would know that Nico was where we got dog sick. It was like a bit of a rest stop for us. It was unpleasant, but at the same time, we kicked it really quickly. So we're very grateful for that. Luckily our room was already clean when we got there, which we got to do an early check-in. I just feel so bad that he's so unwell. Just need to make sure he's okay. I think that's the most important thing. I literally had one job and I'm lost. Really beautiful here in Nikko. The vibe here is completely different to Tokyo. We made it! And we're alive! Lion Dior grocery shops. a mean instant noodle with some healthy ingredients this is the section i was searching for honestly such a huge range of noodles it's really really hard to know what to choose you get a bit of decision paralysis this one actually looks really yummy guys i've got the essentials got some instant noodles got some snackies and i'm gonna head back home now Jamie and I were saying that when we got here it felt a lot cooler than it did in Tokyo and it really does. The breeze here is really nice. It's probably around like 24 degrees right now. People have told me that Japan's really expensive to travel to and then people have said that it's like the summer's really disgustingly hot. I am pleasantly surprised in the fact that it just, it's lovely. It's not too hot, I find. Maybe because I'm an Aussie that grew up out west. And I don't think it's too expensive either. Good stuff. Welcome to day two of Nico, which was day five of our trip. As you guys know, Jamie was unwell yesterday and today was a day that I would gradually fall really sick. So stay tuned for that. See, it feels amazing. Luckily by day two, Jamie was feeling a lot better, which meant that we could hop on the bus and go see some temples and chase some waterfalls. I think it's so special to be able to document our trip in the form of videos and photos and vlogs and this Japan Diary series, but I'm well aware that video doesn't always capture the breadth and the depth of the scenery. In this scene here, we were completely surrounded by really tall trees. I think they were like a variation of pine trees. It just felt surreal. Feel, oh, that feels really nice. Is it? It feels soft. That. Oh, I feel it. It's like a bed. Feel it. A bed. A bed. So I read online a little bit about like temple fatigue and I definitely got that a little bit later in our trip but at this point I'm still ecstatic and excited to see this gorgeous temple in Nikko. How does it feel to stand on rocks? Great. I feel like a little kid. Do you? How old do you think you feel? 
about eight. <laughs> 33 going on eight. Standing on the rocks. We were here on a Tuesday and there was a really cute school excursion. I think there might have been a couple of schools and so even on a weekday it was quite busy which was also really nice. Jamie and I walked up a whole heap of steps to find the sleeping cat. So we thought it would be like a monument or a statue at the top of the stairs to commemorate our massive walk up. But when we got up there, it was gorgeous, but there was no cat. I had to climb down all the steps to realize that the sleeping cat was actually at the very entrance of the stairs. It was just above the doorway and it was a little painting. I think it's cool that it motivated us to walk all those steps and a little bit sad that there was nothing at the top that we were really excited about apart from the gobsmacking view. We had a really early lunch at around 11 o'clock. It was kind of hard to find a shop that was open but I needed to take some medication so yeah, I was desperate. After some food, I took my paracetamol, paramecetol, I don't even know how you say it, had some ice cream, had a coffee, I mean sugar, caffeine, food and medication should do the job. We then hopped on a bus to hop on the ropeway to chase some waterfalls. The ropeway was cool. I mean, I thought it was like unique to Nico, but as the trip went on, we realized that if there's a mountain, it's probably gonna be a ropeway. After seeing Keegan Falls from up high with a more panoramic view, we took the cable car back down to get some cheesecake and have a more close up view of Keegan Falls. There's always two types of cheesecake one made out of pound cake, and there's always the one made out of like the ash creamy. There is honestly something so breathtaking and just magical about being that close to a waterfall. The sounds, the whole air, the nature surrounding it is just unreal. After having our breath taken away by Kigon Falls, we went for a walk to the lake. Lake Chizenji was huge and I was surprised at how blue the lake was. I did my uni in Canberra and anyone who's ever been to Canberra before, you would know Lake Burley Griffith. And I just remember that lake always being magnificent, but always kind of like brown. Before we hopped onto the ferry, I started feeling really cold. And I remember just getting heaps of work calls and texts and just feeling like my body was falling apart. I remember shaking as we went on deck and just lying on Jamie for like the whole ride. Where are we going? Tobu World Square. Do you actually know what it is? It's like a theme park, apparently. Fun. Hey, 
you excited? I is looking like a hobo. She looks very unhappy. She does actually. <laughs> Why are you frowning? Darling, There's so many things darling. to smile about. Gato, happy boy. Arigato gozaimasu. I think Vaucluse is a perfect mix in that respect. Yeah. So where are we going? We're going to the Shinjuku Batting Centre. Why? We're going to go for a few few swings in the uh, the baseball uh, pen. Nice. Because I uh, played it in the video game. <laughs> dead set on it. Amazing. I'm reliving my game, my video game childhood memories. Here, so. It's amazing. After we left Nikko, we spent one night in Shinokubo, which is essentially Koreatown in Tokyo. So we had to have Korean food for dinner. Next week, we'll be heading to Hakone. There were lots of hot springs, mountains, and it was quite relaxing, which was really nice and needed. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure to click subscribe as I'll be sharing more videos like this in the weeks to come. Thanks so much for watching guys!